Hi, it's Laura from Tide Mummy 2 and this is Alison. And today we are looking at Drum and Park Rattle Me Bones. So this is an electronic game. It takes three AA batteries, which I have here, um, because it does say that they're not included. And it says, take the treasure without waking Captain Boney. Just one tiny twitch and he'll leap into action to scare you to bits. Use the spinner to find which colour of treasure you have to take, then gently lift it off Captain Boney. If you waggle it too much, he'll wake up and leap about, rattling and shaking to scare you away. Collect three pieces of treasure, then try for his golden hat to win the game. So it's a bit like Buckaroo with all the bits that you have to take off. Um, and it looks like really good fun. So we're going to get it out, put some batteries in and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I've got it out, popped the batteries in and I've attached the skeleton. Now you also have to put the um, staff in place, which is where he rests his arm. And we've got a little treasure chest at the front. So he's currently turned off and what it says here is that you need to put all the pieces on. So I'm not going to do that, um, but I will show you um, a few of the treasure pieces that we've got. So we've got his golden hat. I will pop that on his head because that's the winning piece. Once you've got three pieces of treasure, you have to get his golden hat. So we've got a medallion and we've got a little sword. We've got some gloves, we've got some coins, we've got a pistol, what else have we got? We've got, um, what does this say? Oh, his eye patch, we've got his eye patch. So there's a variety of things, it actually lists 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces. I include in his little parrot, which is really cute. Look at the little parrot. That's really cute. It's it is like, well, so I say it's cute. It's a parrot skeleton, so it's not that cute. But that sort of pops on. And everywhere that you need to pop it, it has little grooves. So um, there's grooves there for it to go on. Um, and on his chest, you'll see like little bits for things to clip on. And there's holes for stuff to go in as well. So that's how it works. Now, I'm going to turn him on just to show you what he's like when, he, when you... Well, when he makes you jump, really. Um, so we'll pop his, it says that we have to rest his arm, it's quite hard because I'm holding him up so it's not quite as steady as he would be. Um, I'm going to flip the switch, ah! and obviously because I was holding it, it was, uh, let's turn that off, because I was holding it he, he obviously <laughs> jumped straight away because we knocked him straight away in my hand. So that really made me jump, it's quite a loud um, thing really it's not like a little pop out like most of them it's really really quite violent so there you go um and it says that you know you need to turn it off and reset him and then put everything back on and start all over again i can imagine putting the bits back on in the right places might be quite tedious but yeah that's really good and yeah the winner is the one that gets the golden hat so it's quite a fun game what do you think Alison? yes would you like to play that together yes yeah should we go and play it now Alright, we're off to play Rattle Me Bones by Drum and Park. We'll see you soon. Bye.